Hello everyone! I am back with another video. Today I'll be showing you how to make a dupe of the Frankie's Bikinis Valentina Bikini. So materials, I have star fabric, red fabric, elastic, and a pattern. We're starting off by using this pattern and I'm going to be cutting out two pieces of each piece. So two of the front and two of the back. And I made this pattern and I actually have um, the patterns available on my website, so I'll definitely link that in the description. And I'm just starting off by cutting one of each just so you can see, and then I'm going to go back and cut two pieces of each. Even it out. And then one more time. So there's those second piece, second layer, if you will. You don't want to have just one layer because it's too thin. Cool. Two of each. Now we're going to pin them together, right sides together, and we're going to start off by focusing on the bottoms. So you want to sew the three sides of the bottoms, just surge it through. These are string, string like side tie bottoms. So now we're going to measure out our red pieces. So I'm tying the measuring tape around me to see how long I want the ties to be there. Then for the stripe in the middle, I want the ties to be that long and kind of reach up so I can tie. So then that long. So cutting out the red pieces, I cut them about an inch wide and we will be folding those in half when we sew them on. So cut out the length of pieces that you measured. Um, and I'm also cutting out pieces for the string ties on the bottoms and yeah, I just eyed that as well. This gives you an idea of what those pieces will be used for. Two sides of the bottom and then that little piece right there. Cool. So now to make our little strings, we're going to take our one inch piece of fabric. We're going to fold it in half and then we're going to serge on that edge there. So just serge it all the way through until you get to the end and then it should look something like that. So now we're going to take the string and basically invert it. So you're going to put that little paper clip or whatever it's called, safety pin, through only one side of the half piece, if that makes sense. Then pull it back and then push it through. So what the, um, why do I keep when I say paper clip? What the safety pin will do is it'll essentially just kind of drag it through. See that? It's hooked in on there. So once you shift it down, it'll still have that end piece. And as you push it through, it will pull the fabric back through with it. So you'll get better at this. You just kind of have to practice. But that's how you make seamless straps. Definitely an essential. So that's what they look like. Now we're going to put the strings inside of the bottoms. As you can see, I cut off the edge there where the strings will be coming off, kind of even the bottoms out a little bit. And now I have my side ties, four side ties. So put the ties on the inside of the bottoms because we're eventually going to be pulling them through. So you're inverting them, you're working inside out, and that's how you make something seamless. And these will be completely sim <coughs> seamless. So just surge over that top. Remember, we just had that little red piece just barely sticking out. So they should look something like this once you pull them out. Nice and seamless. So now we'll sew the crotch together. And we are going to do this by making a tiny little hole in the back. And this is actually where your um, tag would go if it said the brand or the size or whatever. So having a seam there to finish it off will look pretty natural anyways. So get that little cut open there. I make it usually about an inch and a half wide. Um, and you want to be able to fit your fingers through the hole. I had to make the hole a little bigger because it wasn't big enough for my fingers. So stick your fingers through that one piece and then you're going to take two fingers, grab the other piece, 
and fold it through and you should have right sides together still so it, you're kind of sewing in a circle around there and I'll show that in the in the next clip so basically just sewing around see how I'm shifting it shift 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 it's a circle it's not sewing straight across if you sew it straight across it'll I don't even know what'll happen but I've done it so it should look something like this. Again, see how I kind of sewed in a circle there. I stretched it as I was sewing just to make sure to get the whole thing. So yes, now pull it through your hole and there we go. Some nice seamless bottoms. Then you'll go ahead and top stitch the hole shut. So let's move on to the top. Remember it's gonna be looking a little something like this. So we're gonna start off by putting that little red line on the top. So I did this by pinning down the um, little strings and I'm just gonna top stitch that down. Probably the easiest way to do it. Top stitch. You can see it's kind of bunching up a little so you kind of have to experiment with the tension. And now we're gonna put the top right sides together and trim on the two sides there, or excuse me, serge. So just serge on two sides. We're gonna leave the third side open, the bottom side. So it looks, should look something like this. Now we're gonna do the same thing as we did with the bottoms to the top to insert that little halter string in there. So just have the red piece just barely sticking out at the end. I extended it a little bit for show, but um, yeah, your serger will cut it off. So there we go. Did the same thing. Serge that little top area and boom, seamless. Now we are going to serge the bottoms closed, just make them come together. At this point is where you would put in pads if you wanted them, but didn't want them. Now we're gonna to top stitch the bottom piece, the piece that goes around your ribs. I'm just gonna to top stitch it down to where I serge. So I'm doing one cup and now I'm going to do the other. Just squish it in there and top stitch it down. So then after that, it should look a little something like this. This is the inside and the outside. I did a zigzag stitch so it can stretch a little bit. And this is your final product. I'm super happy with the way this came out. I think it looks exactly like the pictures and I'll definitely be wearing it a ton. Thank you for watching and bye.